um, today is the 1st of December and I am putting the tree up. Usually I would have it up so that the girls wake up in the morning, but to be honest, we were just really tired last night. So um, yeah, it went up. I don't know where I'm looking, so I'm filming on my phone. Um, it's going up now. So I'm gonna show you guys what the house looks like and how I get it prepared for Christmas. We've got a balsam, balsam hall, balsam hill Christmas tree. Um, excuse how I look as well. Um, but yeah, basically we've got a balsam hill Christmas tree and I just want to show you like, honestly, this is the second, so this is like, we got it last year for Christmas and obviously this is the second year we're putting it up. Actually, no, I can't remember actually. Is this the third year? I can't remember. Um, we've had a balsam hill Christmas tree for the last few years and they are really stunning. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to have it documented how I kind of put it together um, and show you what decorations we use on it to make it look its best. So I will get started now. It's gonna be a time lapse. It's gonna take me a few hours to put the tree up because it's, it's very big. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, so this is how we get prepared for Christmas. Now, I just wanted to go onto a non-time lapse because I think it's quite important to state that with the balsam hill trees, you can't just like, you've got to be really gentle with it, otherwise you're gonna affect the longevity of how long this is gonna last. Because these are designed to be like a replica for a real branch, you have to just make sure that they're spread out really delicately um, and just take your time with it. Like, it isn't a job where you can rush it within like an hour. You need to really take your time with it and get the branches looking as good as possible. Um, so yeah, they are designed to last for a long time, but you don't want to sort of just put it in the box all squished up or anything like that. Like, as you can see, mine is still relatively bushy from last year. Um, so yeah, you just need to bend it back into shape, I guess, just making it look as authentic as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I am gonna speed this up so that you guys aren't bored. minutes I think but obviously I'll keep playing around with it I just want to get the initial bits up and done because I haven't got a lot of time on my side so I just want to show you what baubles I use so I always go for these ones they're from home base I know home base don't do these anymore but I find them from a woman online and I do keep mine really nice so I've had this set for a couple of years so the glass baubles I have got a green set upstairs and that's why that one's there because I just like that as an extra one. I've got a few more. Um, you know, I've got another red pack. So they're all different shapes and sizes. And then because I didn't know how many breakages we had last year, I bought another two reds. Because um, I usually do the tree just red. I like it really like traditional. Um, so I put all of the red decorations on. And then I think last time I had a few green ones, but I think this time I'm just going to put all red. Um, so I'm going to put the baubles on. So I'll just show you the baubles close up. They're really good quality. And this is what they look like. So just a traditional, nice, large bauble. Um, and then another one that I really like is, hold on. I really like these ones. I don't think I've got many of these ones, so I'm going to be really, really careful and put these higher up. I need for like a teardrop style one. But they are definitely from home base. Um, the brand on the back is called Christmas Wonderland, um, in case anyone's wondering, because these are really sort of hard to come by. But look at this one. This is a really special one. I like this. It's like almost like a purpley colour. Um, this is a purpley red. Um, but yeah, I really like them. So I'll put the nicer ones higher up because we do get breakages quite a lot and we're picking up glass for 
um, days after, but um, that's what it's like with children. So you do get a few breakages now and then. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop these on the tree now, and then I'll come back to you once it's fully decorated. So this is a final one. I always put this one on last, I don't know why. I think this is my favourite decoration. And this is one that we got from the Disney store a few years ago. My sister bought this for me for Christmas. So I think I will return the favour for her this year and find her something. I don't know whether I did get her one or not, but we're going shopping next week. And May, let's have a look in the Disney store for decks like this, because that is so, so cute. Look. That's one of the best ones. So yeah, that is the tree all done. Um, I'm gonna light it now, quickly. I think it may need a couple more, but obviously we've got loads more decorations, but I can kind of top up as and when. But that is it, that is the Balsam Hill Christmas tree. This is a six foot Norman fir one. Very, very big tree, but I, oh my goodness, isn't that, isn't that tree just beautiful? So, so worth it. Um, I love it, honestly. So glad I did this video so we can look back on it. Um, and that's another favourite decoration of mine. I've had that for some time. And that one there, which I showed you on the time lapse before. And then the two at the back, so there's one more sort of Nordic type one, I think you would call it. And then I've got these two at the back. I do keep them really far at the back, but I've got one for Leia, which I think is that one. And then one for Kaya which I think is that one, but they'll share them. They can just choose whichever one when they're bigger. But they're from the White Company, and I got them in the sale. I think they were like £10 reduced to about three or four pounds each, and I got them either on Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. I can't remember, at Bista Village outlet. So that's it. There is our tree. Really, really happy with it. And let's... Yeah, I'm just going to get this uploaded now. Video, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!